My name is Putri Ariani. I'm 17 years old. I'm from Indonesia. Bravo! <laughs> Putri, is this your first time in America? This is my very first time. I'm so excited. I love all the things in here. What is your talent? I am a singer. How long you been singing? Maybe since I was born. <laughs> And what is your dream? My dream is being a biggest diva in the world, like win the Houston and win a Grammy Award. Oh, wow! Yes! Are you, are you going to school now? Yes, I'm in high school, but I hope that I can get in Juilliard's College of Music for my college program. YAGT, have you always wanted to come here? I hope that I can win America's Got Talent so I can reach my dream. Okay, we're so happy that you're here and excited. We want to see you. Thank you so much. She's so sweet. So cute. Yeah. Does that mic feel like it's a good spot for you? Cool, and the key's good? Yes. Okay, cool, have fun. Her voice is amazing. Yes. And thanks. you have father. Yes, I'm father. Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, does Petri have a step in the song? Yeah. Yeah. You want to sing for Pokemon? Yeah. Yeah. So you want to sing it for you? <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you. What did you want? Well. <laughs> Another song? 
You didn't like that one? I, I just said to Sapucci, I like her voice so much. Thank I you want so her much, to Simon. sing a second song, please. The song is special for you, Simon. Well, thank you. tonight especially the very first song that you sang like how you switch from your chest voice to your head voice like that's how my, you sorry, yeah, sorry that's my original song oh Thank wow you. that's even yeah. more amazing you have a kind of a a glow about you and tell me about you're waiting for something at your school I really want to go to Juilliard. Okay. I don't know whether this is going to make a difference or not. However, he's standing up. A short spirit will come down. So you are, I think, one of the first women we've ever had on our show. I am a strange Yeah, I don't know. It's true. There's the gold. Yeah. 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 One more time for Pucci Ariani! Hi! Well, welcome. Tell us who you are, please. My name is Zoe, and we are the Mzanti Youth Choir, all the way from Soweto, Johannesburg, in South Africa. Tell me about the choir. How did it start? Tell me everything. Well, it's a little bit of a sad story, but it has a great ending, of course. Okay. Exactly 20 years ago, our founders, Yanni and Marina Zyman, were carjacked. 
And to their surprise, it was done by young people. And then they saw this as an opportunity to change young lives. And then they started this choir. Wow. And why did you decide to enter America's Got Talent this year? Because America's Got Talent is the biggest talent competition in the world. <laughs> And it has the power to inspire and give hope to the people. Oh, thank you for saying that. OK, we're ready. We're rooting for you. Good luck. Thank, thank you. you. Here we go. a very very special person from our AGT family. Her name is Jane. Her nickname was Nightbird and she sang the song so it has a very special meaning in my heart. It was really beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. That was the perfect AGT audition. I'll always remember Nightbird and to see that it touched people on the other side of the globe. Unbelievable. Can I ask why you decided to sing that song? When we heard Nightbird sing the song on this stage, we were very inspired and touched by her story that we decided to record the song. To our surprise, she responded so beautifully. This song has been such a pillar of strength for us as a choir through difficult times. We just want to continue her legacy, and that's why we chose the song. Beautiful. This brought back so many memories for me. Gosh, it was. Oh. God, this is hard. Um. Oh gosh, give me one second. I know how much this would have would have meant to her. It would. She was so passionate about sharing her music, and uh, this has gone all over the world. And you've come back here with the most amazing tribute. It was just breathtaking, <laughs> honestly. Thank you. <laughs> oh, 
I want to suggest something. We've never done this before, but we've always discussed one day giving the audience something. For Jane. And who are you, please? Oh, my name is Bunta from Dance Team GB Unity. Okay. <laughs> Whereabouts do you live? Niigata in Japan. <laughs> so you've flown all the way just to perform on our show? So this, yes. I've always wanted to go to Japan. Same. Okay, so why did you enter the show? Japanese is okay? Yes. Yes. <laughs> When we saw Myers, who's a champion of AGT last year, we thought we have to get on a stage of AGT. I think the Myers, in my opinion, I think are the best dance act we've ever, ever had. Dance. Yes, I think so too. I think so too. Are you better? Please, looking forward to our act. Okay. You're not giving anything away, are you? <laughs> no more questions. <laughs> I promise you. Sorry. Now we just want to see your act, please. Thank you so much. So 
disgrace. The emotion that comes out of your dancing, it's, it's inspirational. You added everything. It was so wonderful. And I love the speed and the dexterity and the moves that you had. I would love to see a show, an hour of you in Las Vegas. I loved it because it was unexpected. For me, the music was unexpected. I love the changes of the outfits. It was very dynamic and super good. Thank you so much. Thank you. It was the best dancing I've ever seen in my life. Ever, ever. I would say it was the perfect AGT audition. Thank you so much. It was so powerful, so original, so incredible yeah. and amazing. Yes! We're all thinking the same thing. Yes. Yeah. Right? Terry. Yeah. We all loved you so much that we collectively would like to give you something special. going to make this season very, very special. Who do we have here? My name is Lavender. Aww. Hello. And who are you with, Lavender? I'm with my wonderful dad. Aww. How old are you, Lavender? I am 27 years old. And uh, wh what will you be doing for us tonight? I will be singing a song. How, how, how long have you been singing? I've been singing since, actually, I was three years old. I didn't talk until I was four and a half. Um, I'm also autistic, as well as blind. And why did you want to be on AGT? Well, because I have a lot of dreams. What is the dream? What do you want? I want to build a school where the classes are based off of what ki kids are naturally curious at. So a school I would have thrived in. Oh, wow. What's your father's name? My dad's name is Will. He, he's, he, he adopted me later in life, and I, I met him at this after-school program that he was doing. Hey, you want me to tell him? Hi. <laughs> uh... I started an after-school music program, and um, Lavender and I met, and um, she asked me to adopt her. But I said, oh, well, I'm a member of the faculty, and, you know, you, that's just not how it works. But, you know, several years goes by, and she's having struggles, and before you know it, she moved in with me and my husband, Jamie, the day we came home from our honeymoon. And so a year later after that, she became our legal daughter. Wow, that's a, actually a beautiful story, and you have beautiful dreams, and we can't wait to hear you. Thank you so much. Go right ahead.
shining star to guide me far and shine me home out here on my own. But when I'm down and feeling so blue, yeah. I'll close my eyes so I can be Sensation. Honestly, sensation. We make the show because we get to meet people like you occasionally. And this is an audition I'll never forget. It was amazing. Amazing. It is so exciting and gives everybody hope that maybe we can all achieve our dreams if we just go for it. And you are a dream come true, young lady. Thank you so much. I gotta say, this AGT is my favorite show because it's about being different and like, I don't know, I'm, I'm just not normal. Uh, well, I think I'm speaking for all of us because we love you just the way you are. I feel like I just fell in love. Oh, thank you. And you know, this AGT journey is an amazing journey. And I would love to be your cheerleader and hold your hand all the way to the finish line. What do you say? Oh, really? Yes. Oh, thank you. Let's do it. Bonjour, ça va? And uh, what is your talent? I bring some friends, yeah. and we are there to represent the new creation of my brother Sadek, who created this piece. We call that Murmuration, and we bring 65 dancers on stage. Ooh, that sounds very nice. I don't think we've ever had anything like that before. I'm very excited to meet all your friends. Good luck to you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Of all the people. Oh, wow. It keeps going. That was a lot. 65.
so amazingly in sync even though you couldn't see anything. Yeah. Yes. And there's so many of you, but it was so elegant, with so much grace. I thought it was fantastic. It's spectacular. Thank you so much. At the beginning, it reminded me of my golden buzzer last year, the Mayas. But you guys have your own style, and I thought it was magnificent. I think it's very original, and I find it almost more magnificent when you get a large group of people, and the movements are smaller, but perfect, you know? It blew me away. I just want to do, I want to, I like, think I don't know how to, I want to, I want to, I don't know. Oh, oh! From. My name is Gabriel Henrique. I am from Brazil. Brazil! Bravo! Welcome! Uh, I don't speak English. Sorry. Ah, so <laughs> but you, yes, you do. You have been. That's English. Yeah. Bem mais ou menos, né? Mas é isso aí. It's a little bit, but just trying. Eu tenho 27 anos. Yes, 27 years old. And is this your first time in America, or you've been here before? Sim, é minha primeira vez na América e eu estou realizando um sonho porque é meu sonho de infância estar aqui. My first time here in the United States and I'm just realizing a dream to be here to sing for you guys here in the United Aww. States. So tell us what is your talent? What will you be doing for us today? Eu vou cantar I sing. And uh, because Simon always likes this question, I'm going to ask it. Do you have any pets? É engraçado porque eu tenho um cachorro, mas antes de vir para para América ele fugiu tem umas duas semanas. He has a dog and about two weeks before he came, the dog escaped and he lost his dog, so it's actually a, a, a tough question. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Billy. Ah, oh, I'm sorry. Oh. Thinking of Billy. I can't wait to hear what you have to give. Thank you so much. He's nervous. I can hear him huffing and puffing all the way over here. He's nervous.
Gabrielle. I mean, it's like Whitney singing, then it's like, oh, up here it's like Mariah <laughs> singing. It's like, wow, I mean, you I have love some. love Mariah Carey in Houston. I mean, wow, you are incredible. I did not expect that voice to come out of you. You sound like the best and finest pop diva there ever was. I would imagine if people are watching this now in the other room, they're going to go, did you hear that song? Come in and see who sang that. I can tell that you've sang in church, and you don't know how good you are. It was amazing. Thank you so much. I mean, I don't have words. That was so perfect, spectacular. Your voice is beautiful. Your energy, who you are, it was like perfect. Thank you so much. I don't even know because you are here every time as a judge waiting for that feeling. And that was what I was waiting for. You know, something very beautiful and very heartfelt. What I really want to do. Is this. Again, we met a little bit earlier on. Tell us your name and why you're here today, please. My name is Gioma Narcisse Williams. Use the mic. <laughs> what? Yeah, we'll start again. Yeah, so tell us your, your name, why you're here, please. My name is Shum Narcissus Williams, and I am eight years old. Eight years old. <laughs> and where are you from? I'm from, I'm from Georgia. Oh, OK. <laughs> now, do you think you can win? Yeah, just say yes. Definitely. Definitely. Ah! OK, I'm... I'm guessing you're going to play the drum. Yes. Shall we start the act? Yes. Yes, thank you.
was fun. It was energetic. You guys are adorable. I think everybody in this room loved you, and I love you. I haven't seen anything like this before on this stage. You guys might have a very big chance to win this competition because I think everyone is gonna go crazy. I think I know where this is going, and now we have to vote. No, 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 no! There is no need to vote! <laughs> Chioma, you told me backstage that you dreamed about being on AGT and getting a golden buzzer! Now, Chioma and the Atlanta Drum Academy I am honored to make that dream come true! Vanessa and I'm from South Pasadena. My question for Simon is, what animal do you think you look like the most? I think it's a lemur. And I remember seeing a nature program once and I thought, that actually looks like me. Sophia, the chihuahua that you posted this morning on your Instagram story, is that yours and do you have more? <laughs> I have two chihuahuas in my life. One oh, oh. is my son and the other one oh, oh. was supposed to be my dog, but she hates me and loves my husband and she's a very bad dog. Oh, oh. And we have a question for Heidi. I would love to know what her most embarrassing moment is. I have four children and I would say to them, everything I do is embarrassing. What do you do when you get nervous? Instead of calling it nerves, what I do is call it excitement. Please welcome your house. And I use those nerves to bring me energy. Terry I got it. That is Heidi having lunch. Feel it's Heidi chewing something? Heidi chewing chips. Sounds like a hamster is eating something. Oh my gosh, it's the guy crushing the nuts with his butt cheeks. Mr. Cherry, I love him. It was hard. It really hurt. Hey, Heidi. Your hand binoculars are ridiculous. Stop it. You don't understand. They're not binoculars. Yes, they are. No. What it does, it takes the light outside from it makes the outside, sense. and it gets darker around, and then I can actually see better. I need to my focus glasses. focus into some parts yes, sometimes. Exactly. So it's not it's so bright. Sense. Because when it's so bright, I can't see what they're doing, and I need to judge. So my family and I are watching AGT and my dad says, is Beyonce always on this? It's Tyra Banks. Or is it? Blue Ivy, Blue Ivy sit down right now. Mama gotta host this show, Blue. AGT made Simon Cowell so soft. Yes, for me. I want Simon the Savage back. The one who crushed dreams and made people cry for fun. <laughs> off. <laughs> Password is magic. Dad, do you just look? No. Not at the. Are not. you guys talking? No. <laughs> Trick. Magic. Yeah! Yes! Yes! Magic is the correct <laughs> word. That is cheating. Who heard him tell me the word? That's that cheating. That means that you were cheating already. <laughs> They're Hit cheating him, Heidi, because they heard you cheat it. <laughs> All right, this is the I'm final sweating. clue. The we clue? are actually tied at the moment, <laughs> and we are going to start with Howie. The okay. password is... Ready? Million. Dollars. <laughs> no. 
million. Oh, he's right. Thank That's you very it. much. Check. Word do you think he's thinking of, and vice versa, what do you think Howie is thinking of? One word, and when I count to three, you're gonna say that word out loud. Clear your mind. Okay. This is a mind reading technique to show that you guys are in perfect sync. Okay. okay. Read her mind. Three, two, one. Yes! yes! Earring and shoe. <laughs> Look each other deeply in the eyes, deeply. Three, two, one. Nice. Look at each other deeply. Understand each other. Three, two, one. Lipstick! <laughs> this is freaky! <laughs> Lipstick! Feel the power. Word? You have it? Yeah, yeah. Have it? I got it. Three, <laughs> two, one. Handsome. handsome. What? Did y'all say handsome? Handsome! That was not, by the way. This is crazy. I handsome. swear on my life, that was not prep. <laughs> I didn't plan that. We got said it what profession for three years. I know what it was. Dentistry, because she has amazing teeth. She's going to be a dentist. You want to know why I know that? They don't show this backstage she will actually floss my teeth. Imagine if you turn up and guess who's your dentist, Sofia Vergara. That sounds so sexy. <laughs> It'd be like, you know what, I'll have a filling out a week. How many Emmys have I been nominated for? I'm gonna say seven. Two Emmys. Seven times, let's just go for the seven. Why are you looking at me like that? I'm guessing, I don't know. Four. <clears throat> You didn't let me finish. I was going to say two times two. Well, she should have got more. The competition was brutal. The, and, and last night, we had the highest of highs and then some incredible, for me, personal disappointments. And we are here, and we are all paid to be honest. I am brutally honest. That's why it was brutal. Good luck to everyone. But you sometimes are also grumpy. I'm not grumpy. Yeah, okay. And also, I'm, not, I'm translating. She said grumpy. Well, you they know what? Me. This is a good sign. Listen, Sophia, a lot of the judges, you guys disagreed on a lot of the acts last night. Why do you think that was? Um, well, we, well, first of all, we have different tastes, and... We, we all have the same taste. Some of them don't know what they... <laughs> what they what they're supposed to know. Uh, I know everything grumpy? we know. <laughs> how is grumpy up? sometimes and Simon is sometimes local, so it, there's <laughs> nothing. No, I admit it. I do admit it. <laughs> no. Welcome to Buzzer Buddy. Sally, if you were cleaning out Simon's closet, what would you throw away first? If I was cleaning out Simon's uh, closet. You've got very minimal choices here, because he wears the same thing. Yes. It's, oh, uh, oh. it's between the white t-shirt and the white dress shirt. Eh, or the bell-bottom pants. The white t-shirt. The white Simon everything. <laughs> oh, that is get everything. It. You know what? <laughs> I'm going to give you that point. That is everything. I am giving you that point. What do you think, audience? They deserve that point. That's pretty much all that Simon wears. Sophia. You, you did so much magic in two and a half minutes that I don't even know what I was seeing. You made me believe in magic. This is amazing. This was better than your audition, and I really want to know what Simon thinks. Simon, did he win you over? I think I helped you. No. I do. I really, really do. I think magic that Simon. no, by me saying no at the auditions, I think has pushed you to be a better magician. <laughs> and I'm very happy to say on live television, I am officially an idiot. Yeah! No. Howie! You know, we, I, I want to say this from, from my heart here. Uh, what you have done for the show, and as a friend, as one of the most amazing people I've ever worked with, oh, wow. I wanted to pay you a tribute to show your significance and, most importantly, your importance for the 10 years 
you've been on the show. Over to you, Terry. Sunset Boulevard. Okay, let's take a look. Here we go. Count it down with me, people. Where am I looking? Five, four, three, two, one. 